Hi, this is just a quick video um, to, it's a response to an inquiry that we had um, overnight. So the response is really about Zimmer and Peacock making um, custom sensors and it's about materials and about how to price that out. So at Zimmer and Peacock we have this um, knowledge base. The knowledge base has a lot of online calculators um, and then one of the online calculators that we have is in sensors and cartridge pricing. So I go into here, I have my custom screen printed electrode price calculator. So now I'm going to, now I've found my calculator, what the calculator allows us to do is to put in dimensions, talk about numbers, and it comes back with a price. So there's a couple of things now. I'll sort of read the inquiry to you. So this looks, it's, um, the working electrode is um, platinum. We don't, when we're doing these kind of custom pricing, we don't really distinguish between platinum, gold, and carbon, because in the end, it's all about labor. You know, those materials are, you know, platinum is more expensive, um, but for ease of, for the so ease of use for our customers, we don't distinguish. So first of all, um, they want a working electrode that is platinum, a counter electrode that is platinum, an insulator that is um, preferably blue, um, gold connectors, and a substrate that's alumina. So that's pretty close to some of our standard, uh, to our standard sensors. So let's deal with this now then. So the first thing is they actually want about 300 sensors. Now 300 sensors is really not a lot, unfortunately. Um, and when people want 300 sensors, I do kind of say similar. Look, if you want 300, um, let's say platinum sensors, let's go to the products. Let's go to the um, electrochemical sensors. Let's look at these, some of these unmodified sensors. Let's look at the bare platinums that we have. Because in bare platinum, we have two types. You know, we have um, a type like this, where we have a platinum working electrode, a platinum uh, counter electrode, and a um, silver silver chloride um, reference electrode with a blue dielectric or a light blue dielectric. In this case, we could do a darker di darker blue dielectric as well. But you know, that is you know on the face of it quite close to the specification that the customers asked for. Now. If they're looking to use these sensors in a organic solvent, so it's quite aggressive, then we have a sensor for that as well. And um, I'll bring that up and say, you know, this is the sensor. It's slightly unusual that it's actually got a platinum um, working electrode, a platinum counter electrode. It's actually got a platinum reference electrode. Now this one has a green dielectric um, on it. This sensor is um, robust against organic solvents. So when people come to us and say, you know, I want 300 sensors, it's not an awful lot and we potentially would direct them towards the standard products. But let's go back anyway. So we're here to help price out a, um, a platinum work electrode, a platinum counter electrode. So let's go to that calculator again. So knowledge base, online calculators, sensor, cartridge and pricing, Custom screen printed electrode price calculator. Right, so I'm gonna make some so I'm gonna make some assumptions and do some pricing. Right. One of the big things is actually there's an NRE, a non-recurring engineering charge. So this is only 300 sensors, and therefore some an engineer has to design a mask for this. He has to um, design it, get it fabricated, we have to use it. So there's there's a one-off charge whenever we do a sensor, and that's you know making the masks, the screens, in order to um, be able to make that sensor. Now the, the the calculator is designed to allow people to see what the cost of sensors will be at volume. So first of all, there is an NRE charge. Right now, I'm going to specifically deal with the number of 300. 300 sensors are required. So our standard sensors at Zimmer and Peacock are. 300 by three sorry 30 millimeters by 10 millimeters so if i use that 30 millimeters by 10 millimeters per wafer that will produce 27 sensors now if i run 20 wafers that's going to produce 540 um sensors now if the if the um customer or client in this case actually goes for a sort of slightly smaller sensor let's say 25 millimeters by seven millimeters, 
that's going to end up producing them um, 46 sensors per wafer and if they only do 20 wafers is 920 sensors so my comment is depending on the size you know 300 is a really you know quite a small number you know um, and I would actually suggest standard products and in that case if people want to ask more questions we have a virtual meeting room we invite people into that online virtual meeting room we meet with them we chat with them they can we can show them sensors through our video cameras um, and they can get a good sense of what's going on so but let's go back to the question now which is I'm going to assume that this customer wants a 30 millimeter long sensor that's 10 millimeters it's on Lumina it's got gold connectors now so they want they only want they only want a small number of sensors which is 20 wafers so I have to make it 20 wafers twice um, the next question is are the working and counter electrode made from the same metal the answer is yes they're both platinum do I envisage any extra cost for the um, for the sensor? No, it's a working electrode which is platinum, a counter electrode that's platinum, an insulator that's preferably blue, gold connectors on an alumina substrate. So it sounds fairly standard. So what that does is that says to that says to me, your cost per sensor is six pounds and thirty eight. The total cost is. £3,445 uh, and then we do it in US dollars for the US market and then we also do it in euros as well so it's calculated all the prices for us now it's really important when people come with custom sensors are they looking to really scale up because the reason I ask the question are they looking to scale up if I took the same if I change nothing but this person had a real ambition to go to market um, then let's make these 750 wafers. Let's let's make this a large number. So that's now going to produce you know 20,000 sensors. I know it's a lot, but what does it do? It makes the sensor 75p per sensor. Now, if this person um, wants to go for a sensor that's 25 millimeters um, long and seven millimeters wide, then what happens is we produce more sensors. Per wafer and now the 750 wafers becomes 34,500 sensors and the price becomes 44p per sensor so in summary the question was can we make a custom sensor say 300 the answer is yes can it have a platinum paste yes can it have a counter electrode that's platinum yes so the working counter are both platinum can it have a dielectric that's blue the answer is yes Connectors, gold, yes. Substrate, alumina, yes. My only comment is 300 is not an awful lot. Um, the NRE charge, um, it's it's a one-off charge for doing all the all the masks. So actually, by the time we've by the time we've done the NRE, it's worth actually uh, manufacturing a lot more of these sensors. So the next stage for me. The next step for us is, you know, we've made this video, we've kind of located the calculator, we've talked through it a little bit, um, we can get online and chat about this. Um, so, yeah, cool. Um, any questions, please contact us at Zimmer and Peacock. Thanks very much.